now I'm looking online, it's above $600, $700 to get a good, um, nice entry level vlogging, video recording, even photography camera. This thing works wonders. I've actually got stuck in my. What up techies and gamers, welcome to Tech Toys and Gaming. And if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you saw the camera, you saw OBS, and you're looking to combine the two to actually upgrade your recording and streaming capabilities. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually set up your DSLR camera with OBS to actually configure your recording in OBS settings so that way you can get the best settings. So if you're looking to upgrade your stream and your recording for your gameplay or just your overall studio, you might wanna hang out and check out what I got to show you here. Also, I think that recording your camera separate from your actual gameplay is a big improvement in terms of quality and having flexibility. And even if you're doing like special effects like me, throwing my camera and moving my webcam recording all, all around the screen uh, is quite an improvement. Sometimes you might wanna just take yourself out of the recording and just have the gameplay and then pop yourself back in because sometimes you might just be covering things, right? You've got a big head like me. And in my opinion, recording and streaming with an actual DSLR or digital camera versus using standard Logitech webcam 1080p camera is worlds apart, to be honest. I gave a slight demonstration of that in my previous video. You can click the link right there. It's right there. It's a thing, I don't see it, but you're gonna see the little, what? So go ahead and throw away that Microsoft 1080p Logitech webcam. Throw it out the window, throw it in the dumpster. Throw it in the blender and cook it and eat it. What? No, don't do that. So for this particular setup and demo, I'm gonna be using the Canon SL3. I'm gonna be using a cheap little non-branded uh, capture card that actually can push out 1080p, 60 FPS. Not a bad deal. And here's that HDMI capture card that I'll be using for capturing my video over OBS, right? HDMI, you see there is no name brand on this. All but for a measly 17 bucks, you can get this on Amazon or basically anywhere else, so. Uh, and you'll see the quality in a second. I'll show you that. Guaranteed. What? Why wouldn't I not show you? That's the whole purpose of this. All right, so with all of that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the computer, jump into OBS, connect the camera, the mic, the headset, and let's get busy. All right, so here we are in OBS. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is once you launch it is, we, you see we have over here in the bottom left, you have the scenes. Um, I do have two scenes created, but we're gonna start from scratch and we're going to um, set up the scene that we want now that all of our hardware, microphone and everything is connected to the PC, right? So first thing you wanna do here is go to this plus sign, right? To add a specific scene. This is basically to set up how you're going to set up your recording, your screen capture basically, right? So we go ahead and click plus sign. We'll call it um, Canon Demo, right? This is the new Canon setup. We'll just call it, yeah, sure, Canon. Can in, can in, <laughs> can in the demo. <laughs> All right, can in demo setup, cool. We'll click okay, All right? And once you click that can in demo, you can make sure you wanna highlight the scene you want. Once you highlight it, this is the, this becomes the interactive scene that you want to um, basically set up here in your sources. So we want to add sources to our specific scene, our recording scene. So. To add, an, to add a source, we'll just click the plus sign. We'll go over to adding our, let's go ahead and add audio first, right? Our audio capture, right? We'll call this demo mic, right? Since all of this is just demo, we'll leave it as demo because I'll probably just delete it once I am done. All right, make source visible. Yeah, sure. Click OK. And default, um, we should go with a, let's go with the microphone USB since that's the USB device uh, I'm using, right? It's the audio 3.5 jack to USB. So once we click that, we click, okay. and we'll have our mics at the bottom, right? Our demo mic. As you can see here, as I'm talking, you have audio levels going up and down. I actually have it quite loud. So if I decided in the game, I wanted to say something loud, you know, I don't want it going up into the red because then you get some distortion. So you can simply click and drag this down a little bit, right? And you want to get it up to about where it's reaching the yellow, right? Where the yellow is, right? So even in my high house, because I scream sometimes, let's go down a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit more and there we go. This looks like it might be good. I'm just breaking past the yellow point. 
there. All right, and here is desktop audio. That is for your computer desktop, right? We can right click, go to properties, and we'll keep it as uh, my speakers is my headphones, which is a USB device. So again, we'll select USB device, click OK, and that will route through my headphones, which is where I want to be hearing my gameplay. Now let's go ahead and add another device. And that device will be the camera, video capture device. Click on that, we'll call it uh, Canon Cam. Can, can, can in. Why do I keep doing that? Canon camera. Look, I have existing ones here, but we'll, I wonder if I can just add an existing. Um, let's add this Canon. Click OK and whoa! There we go. Now there is some delay you see from my, uh, from my iPhone to the screen, you will see some audio delay, which is kind of cool, but all right. All right, so that is set up. I have my, just like that, it's set up, right? But not really. So now if you notice here, this is a very wide screen, right? Very wide. Oh yeah, how could I forget? The <laughs> We need to capture our desktop. Okay, let's switch that. We need to capture our desktop, so we're gonna add one more thing. We're going to capture, let's just capture display capture. Uh, des desktop demo. I'm typing on the keyboard in case you're wondering why I'm looking down on my camera. Uh, desktop demo. Uh, I have this nifty little, uh, let me see if I can get this in a shot handheld mouse keyboard combo for my PC since I'm couch, you know, gave me for my couch. All right, click OK. And there we go, we have my desktop displaying. We'll keep it at 1080p because that's what we want. Capture cursor, sure, why not? I click OK. And if you notice now, this is where the fun begins. I have my desktop on one side and I have my camera on the other. And this is for being able to capture both desktop and camera, you know, basically your gameplay recording and your camera separate. You wanna capture it separately. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and go over some, some of the basic main settings that we have in OBS. So when you typically launch OBS, you'll see settings over here on the right, click on that. And we'll start a little bit off with the general tab. You'll find that we won't be manipulating mostly any of these uh, options here, especially on the general tab, right? You just wanna keep it as English and your theme, you know, you can choose whatever theme. I choose dark because it's easy on my eyes. Um, but overall, I do not really touch any of these options here on this first page. So we're not gonna worry about that for the purposes of this demonstration. We're just gonna move right along and see how we can set up our camera to, se to record separate from our desktop. Streaming, we're not gonna look at streaming because we're gonna be talking about desktop, just recording your gameplay. So let's go ahead and jump over to output. If you're at the basic, at the simple out output mode, right? We wanna hit that drop down, click on advanced. And here we're gonna get a lot more options, right? So it jumps, it starts you off right at the streaming tab, which we don't wanna look at. We're not gonna talk about streaming right now. Let's go into the recording. We'll select recording and we'll see that there are different options here, additional options for recording. Um, so let's go ahead and kind of go down the line here. Um, here, I keep it at standard. We do not need custom FM MPEG. Let's keep it at standard. If you want to see what that is, we'll, I can get into that in another video. But for right now, damn, why am I hiding my face? Set your recording path, right? Whatever your drive is, you can click this option here and go to your computer and set the destination to where you want your recordings to save to, to record to. I probably would advise to save it to in a fast media device, right? SSD, right? So right now this drive I have here is for an SSD drive I have. Uh, basically in, it's internal, it's in my computer. So SSD for speeds, I use MKV though I've tried MP4. I like MKV because um, I am able to do um, multiple audio tracks 
that's my option. You can just go with MP4. Um, MP4 typically tends to make smaller files as well because you know they're, they're slightly more compressed. But I use MKB because it's easy to um, actually create multiple audio tracks, right? So for the reason I do have and use audio, multiple audio tracks is for splitting the audio. If you see here, we can have up to six tracks. The first track is preserved for streaming. So since I don't really stream, at least not right now, uh, I leave that unchecked. But I do have three for microphone and four for desktop audio. So I'm recording them separately so I can actually, in post-production, you know, configure and, and edit the audios on separate tracks, and separate layers, basically, depending on whatever uh, software you're using to edit your videos. Encoder, if you're not on NVIDIA NVEC, H264, I advise that you do jump onto the new 64. This is for awesome um, improved encoding, right? Versus the X264, NVIDIA actually uses more, this is more of a hardware encoding, so you're gonna get better quality, faster, less um, pressure on your CPU. Um, now, here's the interesting part, scale. This is the video resolution that you're going to be having on your OBS window here, this entire window. So for scale, you'll notice I don't have 1080p by 1920 and it's not 4K. It's actually 3840 by 1080. And this 3840 by 1080 is this very long resolution you see here, which is allows me to capture the entirety of my desktop and the entirety of my camera. So basically it's 1920 times two, right? 1920, which is going across to the right times two uh, by 1980 going down. So basically it's HD resolution, just doubled to the right so that you can actually separate your camera from your desktop. That's quite awesome. I don't know, oh, wow, look at this. I have this little hair right here swinging down. Look at that. Can I get it back up? All right. Now this is what's gonna enable you to um, manipulate and separate your camera from your webcam. So when you're recording and it compresses and it outputs, it's gonna output to this very same exact resolution, which is what you want. So that way you can actually manipulate your webcam here separate from your desktop and move it around on your desktop as you please, take it off during gameplay, resize, rescale, make it disappear, all kinds of fancy and fun tricks. So this is the way I separate my camera from my desktop, one for my camera, and one for my desktop when I'm doing my audio, my video editing. Don't mind me, my wife decides to print to the printer in the next room while I'm recording. I'm gonna show her this, so that way she knows the disturbance she's causing in life. Okay, she's done. For rate control, some people use CBR, right? Set it to 10,000 kilobits for bit rate. Uh, I use VBR, right? And I can set an actual minimum to an actual maximum bit rate. Now this is 30,000. I actually set my bit rate just a little bit higher. So we're gonna go with 60,000, oops, 69,000, 60,000, and the minimum, wow, 2 million, 20,000. Uh, keyframe interval, keep it at two. Uh, now preset, you can do max quality um, and, or you can switch it to quality, to performance, max performance. Right, you get a little bit of less quality when you go to performance, when you get max quality, but you might lose performance. So I kind of keep it on quality, uh, just so not to get too poor of a quality or too poor of a uh, performance. So I keep it in the middle. That's generally what I need. My camera usually shrunken on my game recording anyway, so quality will be just fine. Uh, quality will be just fine for game recording as well. Profile, I keep it on high. Uh, and none of any of these settings ahead, you don't, if you, if you don't have these checked, look ahead, right? Or um, cycle visual tuning, make sure you have those checked. Over here on the audio tab on top, I don't touch these either. I keep those as default. All right, so if an audio tab, I don't touch a lot of these settings either, but I do, what you do wanna do is come here to global audio devices and you want to set your desktop audio, which will be going to my headset. This is the name of my headset, Speakers 2 USB Audio Devices. It's a Corsair headset. Um, you probably won't see the name brand. You may, you may not. So I set that for the headset for USB audio. And for a microphone, which is on a two channel, I set it to um, microphone USB, right? And everything else, decay rate should be fast. 
um, and you won't have to worry about any of these other ones unless you want to set hotkeys for it um, for muting right push to mute to, to mute your desktop audio or your mic whatever have you uh, video tab so in the video tab you see my aspect ratio is 32 by 9 um, that's because my resolution is doubled on the width side 1920 times 2 for my base resolution and for output you want to actually have that as the same as the uh, the base as well so resolution for both should be the same downscaler Lancos for best sharpening and scaling possible you see here is the highest in terms of sampling so go with Lanxos Lanxos yes Lanxos and FPS 60 FPS why not let's max out and go crazy uh, hotkeys um, again you have a lot of option in OBS to set hotkeys uh, if you have a streaming deck, this works wonders with that. Um, but for now, we're not going to get all into all this. We just want to see how we set up our camera for recording. And let's go over to the Advanced tab. Process Priority. So for my settings, I have it for normal, right? Um, but if you want OBS to really get clean, the best frame rate and, and quality possible, you could set it to high so that way it prioritizes the process of OBS as the top priority right so even if you get frame drops in game OBS won't capture those frame drops it'll keep it smooth and clean uh direct x3d12 nv12 make sure you keep this nv12 option uh, color space 709 and you want your color range set to full to get all those wonderful colors uh, and you don't have to worry about any of this stuff here with recording Right, so that's fine here. And let's see, he's going down with us. What else in automatic? All right, so for advanced, we won't touch anything here. We want to just cover the basics of getting the screen capture. Right, we'll click apply. We'll click OK. And here we go. All right, so for all intents and purposes, this is all set up. I want to go ahead and start recording. And let's get into some gameplay and see what this looks like, right? Let's go ahead and try some. Control gameplay. I'm going to be using my. Oh, you can actually see me. Hey, how's it going? The reflection. All right. So essentially, once you have your webcam in this setup, this resolution, you can actually separate it by creating two separate layers in your software and cropping right down the middle, right? One layer for your webcam here on the right. And you crop and you have the layer over here on the left for desktop. So and then that way you can take your camera, overlay it, make it the top layer on your video software. But anyway, this is what it would look like. Now, as you can see here, the quality is quite good. Definitely 15 steps above using your standard Logitech, Microsoft, webcam, whatever type of standard video camera you have for your PC. All right, techies and gamers, and that's basically the gist of how you can actually set up your DSLR webcam as a game recording, game streaming capture device, right? The only downside to it is that there's a little bit more of a setup with regards to setting it up, a little bit more of an expense, maybe a lot of bit more, but depending on the camera you buy. Me, I spent just a little below $500 on this SL3. I got quite a good deal on this uh, at the time I bought it. Now I'm looking online, it's above $600, $700 to get a good, um, nice entry level vlogging, video recording, even photography camera, this thing works wonders. I've actually stuck in my throat. The quality of recording and the quality of photography looks quite professional. You can work a little bit wonders with the iPhone, but you know, nothing like a DSLR camera. I wasn't a true believer. I was a big Apple fan with iPhone. I say, oh, I just said, these cameras are great. They do all kinds of crazy stuff. Look at the resolution 4K60. I got the DSLR and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I've been missing out on life? On my recording of my webcam and stuff? What's going on? All right, so if you like this video and you found it entertaining, give it a like, subscribe, and go ahead and follow me. Um, I do have more stuff I want to actually cover with setting up my game recording studio and trying to improve the process little by little, right? And you know, even if you kind of go into it a certain depth with explaining like how you connected the hardware and with the software setups, there's always questions and there's always ambiguities with the way things are set up and run. So go ahead and ask those questions in the comments. I'll be glad to answer any questions. Yeah, and that's it for this video, right? And I'm gonna stop talking now because I wanna get back into playing some control right now. I'm done with y'all. I'll see y'all next time, later. What up, techies and gamers? It's your... <laughs> what up, techies and gamers? It's your boy Jermaine back with another new video. Welcome to my channel, Tech Toys and Gaming. Why did I swing my phone?
What up, Technically Gamers? Welcome back to my channel. 